nacho cheese, cheese or something? Is it's that good. really a part of this deal? You have to go and check it you out. You have to do I that. I don't play with my life like yeah. that, but <laughs> it, was good. it was good. Surprisingly with good, yeah, with the sugar on it. Uh, we've got a little bit of Saharan dust in the atmosphere. You can see some of that haze on our tower cam. It's still pretty hot, 92 degrees outside. This is not, though, a uh, very concentrated area of Saharan dust that we've got in play right now. It's just a little bit compared to what we had over the weekend. So we'll have just a hint of haze on Friday because of that. And then it should be completely gone by the weekend slash early next week. There were a few fair weather cumulus clouds today. No rain in the area to report on a lot of heat, though. These orange hues, heat related advisories, a little bit of rain up near the Red River Valley and the Panhandle. But overall, Texas again still remains pretty quiet. We also have some storms firing off the Sierra Madres. Those will not be coming our direction. Lots of triple digit temperatures in Texas 101 in San Antonio 102 in the capital and we're still under the influence of this high pressure that's out near the desert southwest that is going to track to the east over the weekend tracking over the central plain Saturday Sunday and then by middle of next week it'll be in the southeastern US and the way these spin air around them in a clockwise motion is going to put us uh, in a more favorable region to receive some tropical moisture or maybe some weak disturbances into the middle of next week, which should at least bring about the chance for an isolated sea breeze shower or storm. Note how we're talking isolated at this point. We're not going way up to scattered numerous widespread. At this point, it just looks like a little chance for the sea breeze to become more active and maybe yield some isolated showers or storms. The tropics remain fairly quiet, still have the weakening Estelle out in the Pacific, another region of likely development out there. This is going to go up and probably develop, but the Atlantic side, Saharan dust, it's quiet in the Atlantic, Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico, not expecting any activity over the next five days. Tonight, 76, mainly clear. Winds settle down to between 5 and 10 miles per hour overnight. Tomorrow afternoon, mid-90s, a touch less humid tomorrow. The heat index value not going to be quite as high. We'll touch 103 in the afternoon with the feel like temperature, mainly sunny and a southeast breeze 10 to 20 miles per hour. Upper 80s at the beach, some 100 degree weather in the brush country. And again, just to just a smidge lower on the humidity, I think may keep us out of heat advisory criteria tomorrow. It's still going to be hot though, 100 to 110 or so on the heat index forecast. Uh, so you've got to be taking care of yourself. Water breaks when you're working or playing outside for long periods of time. It'll be pretty calm in the morning on the water, then light afternoon chop if you got a Friday fishing excursion 86 on the sea surface temperatures and more of the same into the weekend mid 90s southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour and that little chance for rain starts to creep in the forecast by the middle of next week. Leslie, Mike. All right, and um, thanks.